<laughs> Sucker. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Pair of Doji, and in this episode, we're going to go and clear the area by the nearest uranium deposit to our base and set up a train station. And we're going to have some combat because there's some bad dudes guarding that. But I got to thinking, <coughs> if you didn't watch the last episode, we talked about finalizing or, or finishing, rather, the last research so we can get the the nuclear nobelisk and i said i couldn't do that because we needed to get the uranium first and we needed to clear the uranium so what we could do is see if we could gather enough uranium by hand uh, to make those to go clear it out um i don't know i, I don't know how much uranium is going to take because we need to make uranium cells in case uranium cells to research that and then probably also to make it too would be my guess so I thought, well, let's give this a try and just see what happens. Um, so um, I made some I made some of the poison uh, novelists or the gas novelists. And I want to see if we can actually use these to to kill these bad bads. Uh, because there's a bunch of, you know, just a small nuclear, uh, or not nuclear, I'm sorry, uranium deposits around here. Um, you know, another thing we could do, actually, now that I think about it, is see if we can get these guys to just bail off the cliff. Yeah, they're they're usually pretty smart about not doing that, but let's see if he comes after me while I'm standing here. No, I don't think he I don't think he will. Let's see. Okay, let's get a recharge here. There we go. Okay, so we got rid of him. Now, what happened to those other guys? Okay, they're over here. Now, we could even... <coughs> we could even maybe use these... <laughs> that's, that's so funny. Or uh, could maybe even use these on the big spiders, too. I, I don't know if they're immune to the poison gas or not. Okay, let's deal with you. You've been dealt with. Okay, so I've got uh, 250 iodine filters. So let's just gather up this uranium by hand and see if we can get enough to do the research and, and make a couple of the nuclear bombs. Okay, so that gives us 346 uranium. Uh, I think that's all that's around here, as far as I can see from this point. And that may be plenty, or may not. I have no idea. So, let's go ahead and head on back, and we'll, uh, eh, I don't want to mess with those B guys right now. I don't actually have, oh, look at that, I left some foundation sitting over there. <laughs> That would have been from a long time ago. Hey, did we do this? I don't think we did. Oh, shite. See, that's why I'm not sure if a poison novelist will affect those guys because they're already in the poison. You know what I mean? Okay, we got to get down because we're almost out of juice. But hey, we got rid of the, the nasties anyways. Let's grab supercomputers for sure. Uh, 420 megawatts? Shit. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, so again, I, I'm not I'm not so sure that poison will affect the spiders. But I mean, if it comes from us, it might. Yeah, I don't know. Let's just clear all this stuff out of here so the next time we come over, we don't have to worry about the poison gas anyway. Oh, 
Okay, so how much did you need? 420 megawatts. Oh, all right, so let's do a map marker here. And this is HD 420 megawatts. All right, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so let's um, let's put down a storage bin here with the output on that side. Get all that stuff out of our inventory. When it's inside of a bin, is it safe? Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't. I guess these storage bins are have lead shielding or something. So for the uh, oh, we got a new thingy here. Alternate heavy encased frame. That does three per minute. What is the, what do we have currently for this? We have a five per minute that uses screws and we have really good screw recipes. Yeah, okay. Um, let's just take this one. Okay, and so what we need is, we need 10 of the encased uh, uranium cells. Oh, right. That needs, that needs, um, sulfuric acid too, doesn't it? I got an idea. Um, here, let's pick these back up. Whoops. <laughs> oh, shit. We already have this set up over here, right? So let's let's actually just use what we already have set up, except for we won't send the encased uranium cells to the fuel rod machine. We'll just grab them. Okay, so let's just break that line for now, um, and we'll put down a storage bin here. Do that. And let's put down another storage bin right here. Put that stuff in there. And then we'll go for a swim, because that's the next thing you do in situations like this. Alright. Let's just run a belt down there. And uh, we'll see how many how many we do here. See, that's normally set to 20 per minute. I think for this, we're not gonna uh, we're not gonna really have enough sulfur, actually. Let's let's just overclock it anyway and see how much we, how well we can do. I mean, I guess I could overclock the sulfur then too, right? Yeah, let's, uh, that's 24. Let's just temporarily overclock this as well. So you're gonna need 125 water. Oh, you know what? I never hooked up power to this. Yeah, we might want to do that. Um, how about if we... might be able to go right through here. Over. Nope, let's keep it where it was and then there. Alright, how much did you say you needed? 125. Oh, well, that can only do 120 unless we overclock it, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Anyway, so. Oh, this is going <laughs> to 62.5 per minute. Okay, yeah. And 
it takes 10 uranium per cycle to make five. Well, that's definitely enough to, to do our research. Get away from all that radiation. Now again, I'm, I'm assuming that we need these to make the actual bombs too. So let's just let that continue. And we'll go with the research and then we'll see what we need to make the bombs. Okay, so we just need 500 novelisks. Shit. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Store all except for you. And actually store 19 of you, too. Because I grabbed too many. Okay. Um... Oh, shit! I forgot about these. <laughs> I was going, why am I taking damage? Okay, so yeah, we need 500 Nobilis. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so we need the whole top row and then those two. I made a whole bunch of extra of these because I knew we were going to need them for this at some point. And, oh, and we need the AI limiters. There we go. All right. All right, why am I still irradiated? I don't... Oh, I wonder if it's residual. I'm trying to see if that bar's going down. From having it in my inventory. I'll bet you that's what it is. Right here. Let's, um... So I don't have anything else in here that's irradiated. Yeah, it's probably residual. Okay. Now, to make the gas, uh, no, sorry, not the gas, the nuke nobelisk, we need regular knobs, 20 more encased, smokeless powder, and AI limiters. Okay, um, so let's grab... Let's grab, like, two stacks of those. Smokeless powder. We'll grab a stack of AI limiters. I have more smokeless up here. Okay, so we have two knobless, two stacks of smokeless, one stack of AI limiters, and then we just need a bunch more of this stuff. I wonder if the bombs themselves are uh, radioactive. Oh, we need 20. Okay. Here, let's get all the rest of those. In fact, uh, can we take everything else? No. Let's put a few things back in here again just so we have enough room for more cells. So, so it takes 20 cells to make one... I guess it's one um, no, nuclear nuclear nobelisk. Okay, so this stalled out because I'm sure it ran out of something. Well, ran out of uranium. That's what it ran out of. Okay, so let's grab all of those. Take all that stuff. Now let's set these back to what 
the way they were. So this was 20. And this was 24. Okay. And the water needs to be 24 as well. Oh, it already is. I guess I had... I guess I had already underclocked that. Okay. Let's make um, some nuke nobelisks. We can make eight. Damn, things are expensive. But we need some nuclear deterrence in our life. Or I should say those big-ass spiders need nuclear deterrence in their lives. Or preferably their deaths. Okay. So that's it. And... I guess... We used all of the uranium cells, too. All right, so we're still radiated. Is that residual radiation, or is it because of these nuke novelists? Let's put those in here. See, the radiation doesn't stop. So I think, I think it's just residual. Alright, well, let's just grab those and take them with us. We got lots of mass, so we'll be fine. I don't want to take uh, this powder with me. Um, the supercomputers can go back over here because we picked those up at that crash site. Okay, I think we're good. I'll meet you guys back up at the location. All right, guys, we are pretty close to the location here. I'm in a constant state of radiation here. I'm, wait a minute. I'm not still... Yeah, I don't know. I, I figured that would have worn off by now, unless these also cause radiation. Hmm, I don't know. All right. Well, anyway. So, let's look at the map here. The uranium is... Where are we at? We're right here. The uranium's over here. So let's just go this way. We're going to have to pull power uh, down from up there anyway. But I want to do that in a somewhat neat-ish neat -ish fashion. back up here for a second. And we'll collect a purple power slug while we're at it. Alright, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so the ra uh, the uranium is right down there. See it? Um, but yeah, there's some bad bats down there for sure. Um, what hap- uh, Okay, let's try something. Before we before we get the big boy out, I want to see if this will actually harm them. I mean, I can't... I can't tell from here if it's doing anything at all. 
I would I'm gonna say that this the small spider right there probably would have been dead by now if this was effective. Alright, well then probably not. Alright, let's get the nuke novelisk. I'd like to know where the big green guy is, because he's He's the really bad one. I don't even see him down there. Ouch. Okay, let's get back up high and heal. His giblets are up in the sky there. Well, we definitely killed some small ones. Where's the big green bastard? Are you the only one... Only one left? Because if you are, then I'm not going to waste another nuke on your ass. Well, when I came out here the first time, uh, there was like, there was one big green one and several of the normal big ones and then a bunch of the little guys too. But I'm not seeing them now. Okay. Um, let's go down. And we'll pick all these giblets up. Maybe it's a maybe it's a randomly spawning thing. Uh, oh, look at this cave. Is this near where that Yeah, okay. These two quartz nodes are underground. I mean, this still could be the the cave that they're in. Well, maybe not. Your contract legally compels you to harvest this artifact. Looks like the cave just goes to the Mercer Sphere. All right. Well, I'm going to say that uh, the bad bads are gone. I'm not seeing any more around here. Okay, let's get some foundations down here. Um, we'll go with the four beaters. Hold control to be on the global. And I'm just going to put a Mark 1 Miner down here. We could always come and upgrade it later if we needed to, but we shouldn't need to. And two, you know, once we put buildings down, that stops the spawns anyways. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, I guess we'll have this facing towards the west.
All right. That should be all we need to do down below here. So we can do everything else from up above. But we're going to use a lift to bring the uranium up and then set up a train station to ship it back. So, train station. Um Let's get up on the higher vantage point. We could we could just build a station at this level, then it's up pretty much up above everything and shoot it out that way and then figure out how to get it down. I need to do a little bit more of a survey on that, actually. But we should probably aim for the south side of that large mountain there. So starting at the highest point here, um, let's get a two meter foundation. Put that in. And you know what, I think the first thing I'm going to do is get power over here, so that way we can hover. Where's our miner at? It's right there, okay. So we're definitely going to want to go this way. I see a power pole right there. Um, let's do this. I'm not necessarily going to keep these foundations here permanently, but I'm just doing it right now to get over here and get a kind of a straight line to where we are. Okay, so that power pole is there. I might actually keep a walkway. Have a walkway go over there. If we were to do that, um, let me think about this for a sec. So I haven't planned pre-planned any of this out, so that's why we're we're flying blind here. If we put these here and brought them to yeah. Okay, wait a second. Is that can I can I hover? Nope, I can't. Okay, let's do a catwalk to there. Hmm, I don't like that. So why don't we try that the other way around? Let's let's do a catwalk. there and then we'll do stairs to there all right now we'll just have a 
walking path to our train station. Okay, that's good enough for the moment. And, you know, as usual, I'll put, I'll put supports under it later, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Good. Okay, so we got that. Now I want to run power along here. Um, does it let me... So it doesn't seem to let you do the little power connectors, only the poles. That sucks. All right, well, that being the case, then, we will put a pole here. And what I want to do, then, is... Let's put you right there. Oh, no, not that. Right here. Can I move you over one? How about a half? Nope. These don't like to, to make the half move. I wonder, though, if it would... No, I want the outlet. That's actually a little closer. Okay, good. Now we want to come over to here. That's straight. This one can actually be moved over a little bit. There we go. Once we get the rails hooked up, that'll provide power too, but until then, we'll have to rely on this. I really don't like the way that's leaning over, though, into the walkway. Let's at least pull that back to there. There, that's better. Not perfect, but better. Okay, then what we'll do is we'll run this up to here. And I'm not exactly sure where the start and end of the platform and all that's going to be. Uh, so we can always adjust that for that later. Um, so for now, let's just kind of put these down randomly. So the ore is going to come up a 
If I turn that the other way, that cliff face gonna, is going to be in the way. Why don't we turn it this way? Now, let's take that out there momentarily. And we'll grab a Mark I lift. It's not quite high enough, but we can fix that with a floor hole. So let's just put that in place for the moment. So that hole's going to be in the corner of the circle based upon, well, the center part, based upon what it is down there. Um, I think that's right. Let's go down and look at it. Yeah, so if we were to put a hole here. It's in that corner of this little circular thing, which is, I think, what I did up there. It looks right. Okay, so what we'll do then is we'll put that in and then we'll just aim at the hole and it goes all the way up to it. It's pretty slick. Nice. All right, so that's where the ore is going to come up at. So let's fill this in. Um, let's just zoom out 10 from here, going this direction. All right. Now, let's get over here, and we want to get um, a train station. Uh, yeah, just need to get up an, a little higher here. Where's the arrow? Okay, we want it to go that direction. And then it's a matter of positioning this so that we get the freight am I still supposed to be taking radiation well I guess we are close to the uranium thing um, the thing I don't like about this is you can't set down the freight platform without the train station and so it can be kind of a pain in the ass to try and get stuff lined up All right, so we're lined up on the output, not the input. We need to do the input. So that means if we just move this one tile or one foundation over, that should be where we want it. Let's try that. Train station. Going this way. Okay. Freight platform. No, we went, damn it, we went one too far. Yeah, 
It needs to come back two, two nudges from the edge of that platform. So right there. Okay, freight platform. There we go. I think that's what we want. Okay, that gets the uranium in. This is a load platform, so we don't have to change that. And we're going to call this uranium pickup. All right. So, now, the next thing here is, why don't we get rid of that and get rid of all of this? Bring this over one more this way. I don't think we need any of this either. Power connectors right there, but again, this will be this will be powered automatically when we get the tracks run. But let's run that to there for the moment. Do is get lined up. You. We'll also use this power pole to get power down to our miner as well. Let's pick those up. Uh, is that starting? Oh, yeah, there it goes. Okay. If we wanted to get a little fancier, what we could do is... Bring this down to here. Bring it over to where are we at? We're on that side of the thing. Okay. Maybe to there. Okay. And then let's see what this looks like. We could move it over one. How's that? pretty damn good at least from that angle oh yeah okay no it needs to come over more this way too so right to about here let's make sure we're not too far away from that week. There we go. Let's 
looks pretty good from that side. Um, but if we look at it in relation to the lift, I think it needs to come one more over. I know this isn't that big of a deal, but I like things to look good, you know? There. That's really nice. Okay. Now, it's going to be a matter of figuring out how to run the rails. Uh, we've got a huge height difference between hither and yon <laughs> so um i'm gonna i think i'm gonna need to do some surveying to f figure out what the best path is to run this maybe maybe do one more Okay, so that'll that'll be our basic platform, and of course, again, I'll adjust it more as needed. So I think at this point, guys, I'm going to cut the camera, and I'm just going to do some surveying and figure out how I'm going to run these tracks. So I will bring you back when I have a plan for that. All right, guys, um, I'm back, and... Um, I think I have a general plan for how I'm going to run these rails, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually officially end this episode here. Um, and so if you don't want to uh, watch me uh, build this, this railroad, um, what I will, uh, the plan will be that we'll start the next episode with it completed. Um, and we'll take a train ride and I'll show it to you. Cause I'm, I'm kind of planning on doing something kind of cool since this may be, not for sure, but this may be the last railroad that we'll build in this <clears throat> uh, playthrough before we start over. Uh, we still have two more weeks, uh, though. Uh, it is uh, August 27th at the time that I'm recording this. Um, so I, I'm not really sure what all, you know, I'm still going to do uh, for the rest of the, to the time here. Um, so it could be the last railroad we'll build or it might not be we'll see but anyway i'm planning something kind of fancy it's going to be a little longer than it needs to be uh, but just for fun and have it kind of be like a little scenic um ride <laughs> uh, while it also delivers uranium so if you're not interested in watching me do that because it's going to take a long time um then we'll like i said uh, the plan will be to start the next episode with the railroad finished and uh, I'll show you the end result, and it should be a lot of fun. Uh, so with that being said, thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode.